Sinead Crowley, RTE News. Several thousand people queued from early morning to attend an international jobs fair in Cork today. Organisers were forced to restrict admission because of the huge crowds attending, many of whom say they're forced to seek work abroad. However, there was some positive news on the jobs front, with the latest figures showing that the number of people at work here rose in the last three months of 2011. Queues began to form outside the conference centre at the Silver Springs Moran Hotel from around 7 o'clock this morning. Unemployed construction worker John Daly slept overnight in his car to get to the top of the queue. And I felt like I idle, you know. I woke up since I was uh, 16 years of age. And how do you feel about being out of work? Pretty depressed. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, I say I worked since I was 16 years of age and I don't want to get a bit of work, you know, make it home, but it's not there, it's not there, you know, so. And back through the queue, John Daly's story was echoed by many others. I'm capped by trade, a machinist, um, been laid off for the last year, um, the government have done nothing for me and uh, I feel that it's a time to move, unfortunately. Just looking for something different. Can't find anything at home. So. How long are you qualified and were you working? Um, I was qualified in just in 2011 I graduated, so I haven't been able to get a job, so I've been trying everywhere, but there's no, nothing. So. Inside the conference hall, exhibitors were promising jobs in construction, farming and industry in Australia, New Zealand and Canada. 22-year-old welder Jason Welsh from Waterford is off to the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. I uh, got on very well. I actually managed to get a job offer, um, so I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm in the middle of the application at the moment, so hopefully all going well in the next coming weeks. I could definitely see myself going. After two hours inside, John Daly didn't have a job offer, but he has hope. Three or four companies there were interested in quite my CV, when I was on my CV. So I have to wait to see what come back to, uh, see will they come back to me, you know? That's all I can do. Another Working Abroad Jobs Expo will be held in Dublin in October. Pascal Sheehy, RTE News, Cork.